How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, I want to show you guys how you can get yourself American Netflix in Canada using a VPN. Uh, well, we'll be trying with free VPNs first and see if that works. Now, I wouldn't really recommend free VPNs because they're not consistent at all and they typically steal your data. So I chose a couple of good VPNs they could use. Now, the problem with free VPNs is that they're going to have either data caps or location caps. In this case, we don't have a data cap with Proton VPN. VPN, but we do have a data cap with Windscribe. Now you're less likely to get access to the American library, but let's go ahead and see what we can do here. And later on, by the way, I'll give you guys a few options for premium VPNs if you're not willing to deal with the restrictions of a free VPN. So let's go ahead and see if we can get access to Sync2, which is only available in the States and South Korea. Uh, now on Netflix, it doesn't show up because I'm not in the States, but let's go ahead and refresh Netflix while we're connected to um, the server right here. And as you can tell, it doesn't work. I might have to switch between the servers, but I don't want to waste you guys' time. So let's go ahead and just disconnect and put away Proton for now. Let's try with uh, Windscribe, which tends to be a more uh, consistent free VPN with regards to unblocking streaming services. We'll go ahead and try this with Windscribe, but again, the 10 gigabyte uh, limitation right here might be an annoyance since you're probably going to run out of uh, the data right here very quickly. Let's go ahead and refresh and see if we have access to American Netflix. And it seems like we still don't have access to it, even though we're connected to the uh, right server right here. So an American server. Yeah, it is quite a bit of a challenge for free VPNs to bypass the restrictions with Netflix. So let's try the Chicago one, for example, here and see what we can do. So let's just wait for it until it's on and we are on. Let's go ahead and refresh. And it seems like we still don't have access to uh, Netflix. So as you can tell, it is really just not reliable to use a free VPN, even though these two VPNs have the best chance of unblocking streaming services. You probably just want to avoid using a free VPN altogether if you're specifically looking to unblock a streaming service, because it's just going to be an unnecessarily difficult task with a free VPN. So I'd recommend using a premium VPN. So I went ahead and tested over a couple of dozen VPNs. I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best overall. They all vary in budgets and features. So you can pick and choose depending on your own situation and what you're looking for out of your VPN and your specific needs and preferences and budget, of course. Uh, let's go ahead and demonstrate using ExpressVPN, which is going to be the best of the best and most reliable overall. Nord is more of a well-rounded option that gives you a whole bunch of features for a very reasonable price. And Surfshark is going to be the best budget option that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without really sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you need to keep your devices secure. But now that I'm connected to ExpressVPN's American server, let's go ahead and refresh and Sync2 should show up right away without any difficulties. And, you know, rarely so you might have to change from one location to another, uh, but that could just happen every once in a while. And nine times out of 10, if you just switch from one location to another, you'll be good to go. Whereas with a free VPN, you might have to try 10 different servers uh, in order for it to work. And even when it works, at some point, Netflix will detect they're using a VPN and will block your IP address and you might get cut off while you're watching the movie. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. And of course, in case you're not satisfied with any of these VPNs for whatever reason, you can get yourself the refund through the 30 day money back guarantee. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.